Hey guys, it's Tara and welcome back to my channel. So, I am here. I have not quit YouTube. Um, it's a really long story that I don't want to go into because it's not important to me and all that matters to me is that I'm back. But let me just give you guys some facts because this is kind of insane. So, I have not uploaded in more, approximately four months. Like, if you go on my channel, I checked the other day, if you go on my channel and look at the last video I uploaded, it was four months ago. And this whole entire year, I'm pretty sure I only uploaded four or five videos. Six months it took me to upload four videos. That is insanity. And I just want to apologize and thank you guys so much for sticking around. Am I in the middle? I don't know. Um, this is kind of gonna be my new background. I know the lighting's really bad. I'm sorry guys. I'm really excited to be back. Um, I, as you guys probably already know because you clicked on this video, I'm gonna be doing my five top tips for staying organized for the back to school time. I thought I'd do this because I'm in the biggest organization mood and these are kind of my five main tips that I like to use to stay organized. So not all these tips works for everybody and also I just want to say I don't take credit for any of these tips. I don't know where I got them from, probably from YouTube or just experience or family or whatever. So without further ado, let's get into the video. My first tip is write it all down. What I mean by this is when you come home from school or when you wake up in the morning, write down everything you have to do. Write down every little bit of information that is in your brain, no matter how big or how small it is. Even if you have to tell yourself to remember to walk the dogs or take a shower because a lot of the times if your head's overflowing with stuff, you can forget the most basic things. So personally, I like to write it all down, get my head clear, get everything out of my head, and then I'll tackle the list one by one because I often find that if I have a lot of things to do and I don't write it down and I try to keep them in my head, I'm worrying about forgetting about things. So, um, so make sure you keep this list somewhere safe, obviously keep it in a diary or on your wall or on your desk. So yeah, this is like my number one favorite tip and I really recommend it to everybody. My second tip is kind of a tip that a lot of people say and it doesn't work for everybody but it definitely 100% works for me and that is to use a planner. So the planner I use is an Erin Condren Live Planner. Um, this is my first time buying an Erin Condren Planner and I actually bought it for half off because I bought it throughout the year just before the new Erin Condren Planners came out in June. Um, I love this thing. It is pricey and I don't know if I'll be repurchasing it just because of that reason. but. I do really recommend it and I want to repurchase it. I just might see if there are any cheaper options out there because I know a lot of people um, swear by a lot of other diaries that are a lot more affordable than this, but you don't obviously need to get a really expensive one like this. You can just get one from Target or even just print out weekly um, pages where you can write everything in. This is what the vertical layout looks like from the Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, and I think originally they're made so it's morning, midday, and afternoon. I use it for school today and to do. So I'll write what homework I have to do. I'll write the main things I'm doing today, like filming a video, tidying my room, hanging out with friends. And then I'll write a mini to do list over here in the bottom box. It's really, really nice because you can keep all of your valuable, important pieces of paper all together in one. And I just think it works really, really well. So if you get homework or if you remember you have to do something, you can write it down straight away way and you don't write it on a random piece of paper and lose it and it's all together in one and I really recommend planners. I'm really getting into glam planning and I'm actually designing my own stickers and stuff so I'm really excited about that. But yeah, really, really, really recommend getting a planner. That was a raffle. Tip number three is keep your workspace clean. No matter where it is you work, keeping keep it clean. I work personally at my desk, and I find that if you're, my desk is really cluttered, my brain is cluttered, and I can't think straight. And I know I'm not the only person who thinks this. So no matter where your workspace is, um, try to keep it organized and clean. My Okay, I'm back. I don't know where I was up to. Um, I'm just gonna go to tip number four, which is having a good workspace. This means a lot of different things. But 
pretty much what it comes down to is don't study on your bed but study at your desk. Um, the temptation to study at your bed is really high, trust me, I want to do it all the time as well. But you're just a lot less productive and you just sit at your desk which is nice and clean and you'll get a lot more work done than sitting in your comfy bed. Now this might not count for everybody like I said but it counts for me and I know it counts for a lot of other people. Make sure that whatever your workspace is that you choose a good space that will really work for you and don't trick yourself. Don't be like oh I'll just lie in my bed. I will do work because you're probably not. So make sure you just take a really wise choice. But things will go a lot faster if you just do it in a really good environment rather than on like a comfy bed or something. My final tip is one of my favorite and probably one of your guys' favorite as well, and that is to have breaks. Um, it's really important no matter what you're doing that you have breaks because honestly, no one's attention span is for five hours. I wouldn't think so. So it's no matter if you're just doing homework or studying for a test or working on work related stuff, make sure you have really good breaks. Um, I like to take them really regularly and just have some shorter breaks, but also have some longer breaks. And so that was it for this week's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I am very a very rambly person. I'm a chatterbox. I've been called a chatterbox all my life. And so <laughs> I hope this is alright. Um I'm really excited to be back. I was so excited to film this video. I was gonna do it yesterday, but I had to do community service yesterday. So I am really excited to be back. I'll see you guys either in two weeks or one week. Um like I said, every other week is my schedule. I wanna upload at least a good quality video every other week. But I might just throw in some bonus videos throughout the week. Um, quickly want to say, if you guys are into planning and glam planning, which is like decorating planning, um, make sure you check out my Instagram. It's called Planet Sticker. That's it for this week's video. Give this video a big or small thumbs up if you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Comment down below any other videos you guys want to see from me because your input really means the world to me. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and you want to see more on my face. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye!